Fremsky Karlovsky. After three weeks in the city of Belgrade, we are finally, I say finally, I've loved Belgrade, I'm sure we'll be back in a few weeks time. We are finally setting off to explore the rest of the country, but for the first time in like three weeks, there seems to be rain and a lot of rain, but we're not gonna let that dampen our spirits. We are heading one hour north to the city. I say city, it's more like a town. But then when I read online, it's more like a village. It's got around 10,000 people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a town stroke village of Stremski Karlovsky. Basically, yeah, a village an hour away. It's meant to be one of the most beautiful towns, village cities, whatever you wanna call it, in all of Serbia. And it specializes in incredible wine in the area. So I'm sure we'll indulge in a couple of them, but we need to get the bus. It really would be the first day that we get proper rain in Serbia. Are you ready for these buses? You were just saying how nervous you I are. I know, I am. I was just about to say I've got an umbrella, so that's something. Um, I'm slightly, not nervous, but apprehensive because it's always the problem when you get a, when you're in a new city and you have to get the bus, don't work out the bus English. station, don't know if they'll speak English. Don't even know if the bus timetable is gonna be correct. I've got the bus timetable online, but I suppose we just have to get there. I'm actually really sad to be checking out of Iris's apartment. It's the longest we've stayed anywhere in Belgrade, a week. We've been moving everywhere. Literally, we've stayed everywhere in the whole city, but a week, it's been amazing. We'll link all of the details of this place below, as well as our Airbnb code. If you want discount on Airbnbs, and basically help us while helping you, you can get up to like 40 to 50 pounds off your first booking. It's in the description below. The bus station? Bus station. Yes. And how much is that, please? So about three, four hundred. Okay, okay Thank perfect. You. Thank you very much. So we have made it to the main bus station here in Belgrade and we have our tickets. My pronunciation is awful, so uh, I did have to show where we were going, but we have two of these coins, which will get us onto the platform, and it leaves in 40 minutes. It costs 1,280, so about, how much is that? Just under 10 pounds. This is actually a really easy bus station. You get your ticket the other side, put your token through, come through, and then you've got like, 40 different stands here, we're number 35. That is all I know, do not know the bus name or anything, the ticket's all in all in Cyrillic, so I haven't got a clue, but it looks as if the bus is already here at number 35. Just fingers crossed it's the right one. Hello. This is not too bad. Oh, we have got, what have we got, what are these? <laughs> tables. We've got tables. <laughs> We've got toilet, we've got TV, don't know if it works. Have you seen the window? Do you think we should move? You can't see anything <laughs> out of the window. The window seems to have, uh, <laughs> something's happened to the window, but it's only an hour, it shouldn't be bad. We have made it to Sremsky Karlovsky. I think that took probably about just over an hour. I think we've been dropped at the old train station. I say old train station, it might be the current train station. In the Balkans, all the train stations seem to be very yellow and look very abandoned, but it's still spitting a bit. So we need to find our hotel and then hopefully this rain stops. And there is the sign to where we're heading. Thank you very much. Okay, this is a bit crazy. We found the hotel. <laughs> Let me show you. I was just enjoying sitting down because I do feel a bit like a queen in this place. So we are staying at the president, premier president. I can never get it, what, two peas in a row, it doesn't work for me, but here we are. It is unbelievable. Just, just wait for it. I feel like a queen, I'll show you why. So it's a president palace, basically. I feel like a palace. It We've is a palace. A huge bed, it's got diamantes in the wall. This just feels so royal. Like, I don't know what the the name for the design is. Like, the architecture. It's just Palace. old wooden. Palacey. 
chandeliers, little frilly bits oh, yeah. how, on the lights. How have we got a chandelier? How have we got a chandelier? There is one thing that's modern, which is the TV. But you've got like everywhere that's old fashioned style has the red carpet, doesn't it? Red carpet, mm -hmm. the it's wood. The There's a red carpet on the way in. Red carpet on the way in, that was just for us. Uh, we have our table and chairs, these paintings. Not sure if this is somebody that's famous. I might have to ask, do you think? There's a lot of them, so I presume so. I'm going to just say famous Serbians from history. Famous Serbians from history. We have a dressing table. Now, that is super fancy. Like, even little mini chandeliers on the dressing table. Crazy. And... Are you ready? Oh, this is so cool. Hello. Look at this. Look at this phone. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't have the... The... What's that called? You know, the like dial, the, the spinner dial. Spin dial. However, the way that that is, is so cool. It's actually a usable phone, so you can actually call reception if you need to. Are you going to do the bathroom tour? I'll let you do the bathroom tour. So, we are in a palace after all. Lastly, the bathroom is really, really modern and really, really nice. Obviously, you've got your shower, sink, toilet, toiletries, and... Oh, I didn't notice there was this humongous mirror here. It's just so fancy is the best word I can describe it as. We're actually going to be visiting a few of the President Hotels over the next few days. They actually have three or four across the country, which is perfect for us on our travels up. But we actually do need to head out. Like This town is really small. You can probably walk around in about an hour. We've got a map. Not that we need it. We are actually located slap bang on the main square, which we asked, what is SC? They said you're on the main square. That is pretty much everything to see. But this place is really famous for wine, so I need to find a nice winery for a glass of wine and just explore this tiny little village. The location of this hotel is like possibly the best location you could ever get. I don't even know if it's the only hotel in the village town. It's the only big hotel, it's the only five-star hotel for sure i think the other places would be like guest houses but we are located right on branko's square which is the main square and the main thing to see here in all of sremski karlovski and we are right next to the city hall most of the buildings actually in this city were constructed in the 18th and 19th century around the same time and that is no exception here with the city hall behind me it's actually such a shame with the weather because as you can see behind me the main square has a few restaurants and people I'm assuming would normally be set out but at the minute you can't so it looks pretty empty but the square is named after their famous poet called Branko. I'm not gonna attempt a second name. Um, he was from Croatia but made most of his really famous work actually here. So this is literally the, this is the town. This the is the main square. This is it. It's all done. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> Just to show you a few more things, get some food and definitely get some wine. Wine. The umbrella is out. It is such a shame about the weather. I would have loved it to be bustling the town here of all the little small restaurants. We've also got like a little market that we're walking through now. Um, I don't know if that would be open if the weather was better, but luckily a lot of the things that we are planning to do here are inside. The winery is luckily inside. The restaurant is inside. We just want to try and show you as much of this beautiful city it is known as, well not a city, it is known as one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful towns, villages in all of Serbia and you can really see it, the architecture here is unbelievable. There wasn't a huge amount of facts or research that we could get here in Sremsi Karlvoci, so we've kind of had to... You haven't researched the name very well, have you? No, I can't <laughs> say it. I'm really sorry. Please don't comment below that I'm saying it wrong, but... um. Yeah, like there wasn't many facts on it. There's only a few things here that really are extremely important. Like behind me, the Church of St. Nicholas. It's like one of the most important things here and possibly in Serbia, it has the most traditional Serbian architecture. I also cannot pronounce the name of the architecture. Bork? Born? Something like that. It's a traditional Serbian architecture here. My pronunciation is awful. I think it looks really, really nice. It proper is a very old town. Thank you. 
we are so lucky that this place is really small and you can see everything really quickly. Could you imagine if it was any bigger? I don't think we would literally we would get be to see anything. We would be struggling, but again, we are at another site, still on the main square, <laughs> haven't moved. Right behind us is the Carl Vocci Gymnasium and School. It's, this city is actually known as the city of first. It has a lot of the first of everything and this was the first Serbian high school and it still acts as a philological Scott Philological School. I'm not even. You've checked. You've checked far, far too many facts online. But, but it, it has one of Serbia's most impressive libraries. Supposedly, everything is supposedly. A supposed, but it's a pretty striking building. It's got a clock tower. It's got a clock tower. You can go in. I think. I don't know. Maybe if you're at school. But we are going to have to find a restaurant or somewhere to have a glass of wine because this weather is getting out of control. We ran, but we did not have to run that far. We have come into Burmet Villa, which is a gorgeous traditional restaurant. I'm assuming it would be much nicer to sit outside, but the inside is not so bad. I've got the fire behind me. I've got a beer in my hand and we have ordered some food. I tell you what, it is cold out there. So I'm glad to be indoors. Jubilee. Jubilee. That's a big find. It is, and we've also found where the entire town was. <laughs> when the weather is like this, I think the entire village, town, whatever you want to call it, have ran into this restaurant and it actually is really nice it has the traditional architecture like the rest of the main square is shock the restaurant is on the main square are you jealous molly i am very molly's jealous. really jealous molly went for a pasta i kept it traditional went for the prebranats and it looks so good it looks like it's really red this time really it looks red. like char grilled like the beans are almost char grilled if you don't know thick. yeah if you don't know what it is it's basically like a bean dish in sort of like a a sauce it's really really good you get your bread break your bread up dip it in your beans get a nice big load on it look at that that food was so so good it was basically a game changer they added sour cream so get a little bit of sour cream a little bit of the bread and the pepperonac with the beans oh literally a game changer unbelievable but it is still raining so i think what we're going to actually do is cancel a couple of things that we were going to see today and see them tomorrow morning but there is no way that i'm cancelling the wine we are very excited to try the wine here being that it is known as like the village the town of vineyards and has some of the best wine in all of serbia how excited are you on a scale of one to ten i'm extremely excited but are we gonna find it I that don't, is the question i have no idea it shouldn't be hard so that's a wine shop you'll notice there are wine shops everywhere we were looking on the complete wrong side of the road we are actually don't run, I can't run. <laughs> Looking for this, it is called Art A Vinum and it looks really, really cute. It's like a little tiny, tiny little building. It looks like they even live upstairs. They do as apparently. Well. It's they like supposedly a family run it's a family business. run. Yeah. It's not a complete, it's not an actual winery, but they obviously get their wines locally. As you can imagine, shop. all the wineries are actually outside of the main city and with the rain and with the timing. And the COVID thing. And with COVID, it's a little bit more difficult to get to them. So this is the next best thing. Hello. This place is so cool. So we're trying the families wine. They actually have a vineyard a little bit further away from here, but we're trying Bermats, which is the most famous from Sremski Karlovski. And it actually has 26 different herbs and spices. And also the father of the family is an artist. Look at the art in this place. I'm so excited to try the wine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chivalry. Chivalry. It's so cute. So I'm going to try Bermet for the first time. How exciting. This is the white. There's white and red. And it's a sweet dessert. Ooh, that's really nice. Really sweet. It kind of, it kind of has a, um, a very strong aftertaste of sweets. Like I can't, I can't explain it. You can see why you'd have it with desserts because it does taste very like a, like a dessert. They have even won an award. Did you win the award for the red or the white? Uh, for the red one. For the red. Yeah. We will be trying this as well. And the red is the most famous. Yes. The red is like first one. Red is yes. the first one that yes. became famous. Yes. Amazing. Thank it you so much. Thank you. So we're trying the red now. I'm excited for this. I love the table as well. You can come in, you can sit down and taste what you want to get before you buy it. Again, it's really sweet. But this is what has won awards. The other, the white, they haven't actually done competitions yet for it. But the red, if it's, if it's a competition winner, you know it's going to be good. The red is the most famous. Oh, you can really taste the different um, sort of herbs in it. It's really, really good. Again, it's pretty sweet. It's really sweet. I love that. I'm not sure which one I prefer. 
I would probably say I'm from looking sure. at it, I would prefer the, the lighter one. It's you, more deserty. You haven't tasted it yet. True. Thank you very much. They actually also try their own rakias. I think I've decided that we're gonna go for the white. So we're gonna get a bottle of white, but I couldn't leave without trying a rakia and you had to go plum. Again, I'm keeping it very traditional today. Oh, that's good. It's so smooth. It's really, really smooth. Put it in the fridge, what, for like half an hour, maybe? Yes, it's enough. Yes. Amazing. Half an hour is enough. Amazing. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you very Thank much. You Thank so you so much. Thank you for opening up. Thank you. So, we ended up buying the... But I think it's called like a princessa. It's a burmet, a white burmet. As we said, it's a sweet dessert wine. I've got one. We haven't had a dessert. Oh, it tastes just as good. It tastes slightly different because we hadn't just eaten. But we are actually going to... Of course, really fruity. We are actually going to finish this in the room. And then we're going to head to the indoor pool, the spa, the sauna. That's why we're in our robes. It's literally the... It's actually <laughs> worked out perfectly. All of it that has. went raining. Jivali. Jivali. Well, this is unexpected. I did not even think for a second that the hotel would have a spa and wellness center as good as this. So I'm currently sat in the hot tub that they have turned the bubbles on and I've even got flashing lights at intervals. We have a big swimming pool. We have a sauna. There is just a lot going on. I'm feeling this pamper session tonight. Why is it that Molly ends up in the hot tub and is a little bit scared? I thought after being in the Maldives for a month, she would know how to swim by now. <laughs> but if you want, we could always call the reception and ask for a life jacket. No, I'm not. A life jacket? I'm happy in the hot tub. You're happy in the hot tub? I'm going to get in the hot tub. Two lengths after that glass of wine is enough. Hot tub, sauna, swimming pool repeat back in the robe it was very unexpected um we probably wouldn't have made use of this if it wasn't for the weather today we'd have been out exploring fully but i'm so pleased we have because normally when it says spa you've got like a little hot tub maybe a small sauna or whatever but it is like a full spa that you pay for a spa treatment it's actually got like a hairdressers and gym downstairs probably check out the gym tomorrow um but yeah i'm gonna go and drink some more wine um and then tomorrow we are gonna check out them other sites. There's a couple of things that we didn't get to see today for the weather, so we will see you in the morning for them. And good morning from Stremski Karlovsky. I slept so well after trying the region's famous wines and chilling in the spa, but we had an amazing breakfast. It was literally like a palace. You would not believe the setting, this banquet that we had for breakfast, but we are up bright and early. You can tell from my breath. We're on a little hike. We are heading to the viewpoint over the city, but we're taking the unofficial route. The official route is locked. So we're walking through a little village now. Well, part of the village, part of the town. Uphill, trying to get to the viewpoint. The official way would have probably taken about five minutes. The unofficial way is taking about 10. And I'm super out of breath. <laughs> barking dogs. I've got um, to insert that. I've oh got to insert the intro. What the scary, oh, that was honestly so scary. Their, their dogs out here are pretty scary. After drinking the region's famous wine. Oh. This is obviously is the open. car way. Yeah, this is obviously if you're going to drive. A gate is open, so is it open? Who knows?
well that was worth it it is open and we are the only ones here it you've is got someone behind you <laughs> yeah a poet which i don't actually know his name i can't remember it it's kind of creeping me out every time i look behind there's someone right there uh, but this is vidik vidak and in serbian it basically means the viewpoint the lookout and that is what i'm doing we are looking out over at Shremski karlovski and the danube it is a lovely lovely view up here but it is so so cold couldn't come to Shremsky Karlovsky without coming to this place. If it meant jumping over the fence, we'd have jumped the fence. The cross behind me actually used to be wooden, um, but they changed it to a gold-plated one. It's really, really nice, and the views are incredible. It probably stands out, doesn't it, from It really up here. does, but it has been an incredible, what would you say, 24 hours? 24 hours. 24 hours. Of course, windy. We've drunk wine, we've checked out the main square, we've beaten the rain, <laughs> and now we have the wind battling us. It has been worth it. Shremsky, Karlovsky, you have done us wonders mm -hmm. despite all of the challenges we've had to come across. Exactly. We will still be here actually for another day. We're heading a kilometre out of town so we'll see you in the next one for that.